Hi, I'm Tim and welcome back to part five of my Home Assistant GMK Tech video series. And in this part five, what we're going to be doing is adding an integration for our Rio Link video doorbell and also Rio Link security camera into our Home Assistant dashboard. So without further delay, let's hop onto the PC behind me here and I'll show you how to add the Rio Link integration into Home Assistant. So here we are and I've logged in to my Home Assistant and we're here at the dashboard. Now what we need to do first to add our Rio Link video doorbell and security camera video feeds and various buttons to our Home Assistant dashboard is to go into the Rio Link app which I've already opened on my PC here and you'll see that I've got the doorbell camera showing the live feed at the moment. So what we need to do is create a user account that we can add into the integration into Home Assistant. So to do this you need to click on the NVR cog or gear icon. So you'll see we've got NVR at the left hand side here and then opposite that we've got the gear icon. So select this this will then bring up a pop-up window as you will see and to create a user account for the Home Assistant integration we need to go to system then select user management then what we'll do is select add user and for the user type we need to select this as administrator so that we can control the settings from Home Assistant if you set it to just a user account you will not be able to change settings in Home Assistant for the Rio Link application and cameras for example. For the user type select this as administrator and create a username so in this case we'll type in has and then create a strong password and then confirm the password and then click on save. This has now created a another user account as you will see so it's another administrator account called Has, and we already have the default one in there for admin. So once you've created the administrator account for Home Assistant click X to close that window and then close the Rio Link application and then you'll see that we're back at the Home Assistant dashboard. So first what we need to do now that we've created the username in our Rio Link application is to add the Rio Link integration to Home Assistant. To do this what we need to do is select settings at the left hand side menu then select devices and services then select in the bottom right corner add integration then in the search box type in Rio Link and you will see that we've got Rio Link IP NVR stroke camera appeared so select this then for the username type in the username that we just created in the Rio Link application so in this case it's HAS and pasted the password or type in the password and then for the host you need to enter the IP address for your Rio Link NVR or your Rio Link camera or doorbell whichever in this case I'm using a Rio Link NVR which then connects to the doorbell and also the security camera so I'm typing in the IP address for our Rio Link NVR which is 192.168.2.26 in this case however your host address so the IP address will be different so just make sure you get the IP address from either your router or the Rio Link application itself and type this into the host box. Once you've done that click submit and then this should start adding the Rio Link integration to Home Assistant. As you can see we've got a success message create a configuration for NVR01 which is my Rio Link NVR. So we found the following devices so it's found the doorbell so in this case we can select an area and this will be front porch and also for the camera so it's a CX810 
full colour night vision camera. If you want to know what these cameras look like then check out the videos on my YouTube channel as I've done some videos on both the doorbell, so the RioLink PoE doorbell, the Wi-Fi doorbell and also the CX810 full colour night vision camera, so check out the videos for those. So for camera we'll select again the area which is front porch, the EdVR which is in my lounge so it's in the living room and also the door chime which is in the hall. So once you've created the rooms where the or areas where the devices are you don't have to complete these areas if you don't want to but once you've done that click finish and as you can see we've now got the RioLink IP NVR camera integration added into Home Assistant. So now we've done that we can add the video feeds to the Home Assistant dashboard. So to do this click on Overview at the left hand side then select the pen or the pencil icon in the top right corner then select Add Card in the bottom right corner and scroll down until you find Picture Glance. So here we've got Picture Glance so click on this then for the title we'll give it a name so we'll call it Video Doorbell then for the Camera Entity box select the arrow and then select your camera so in this case we're selecting DBL01 for our doorbell and as you can see it's now put a picture up of my video doorbell and we've got the name there video doorbell it ties in to the title here what we've typed in so for the camera view leave this as auto and then scroll down to entities which are required and for the first entity change this from sun next dawn so to do this click the arrow and select for example and scroll down until you find dbl01 which is for the doorbell yours will obviously be a different name but scroll down until you find the name of your doorbell and then you can select from the various options there so for example we can select the doorbell button sound and then scroll back up slightly and as you will see we've got a volume control there. So clicking on this will then turn the sound off for the doorbell or turn the sound back on. So we can also select a second entity for example and it will put another button next to the volume control. So for example we'll scroll down to doorbell again and we can select for example dbl01 motion so then we scroll back up again here you'll see we've got an icon with a person so whenever it detects a person it will light up this icon to tell you that there's a person in the range of your doorbell camera so you can add further entries should you so wish by selecting the next entity box there and selecting which icon you want to appear on the video feed. So once you've done that just click save and as you'll see we've now got our doorbell video feed on our home assistant dashboard. So now what we'll do is just go ahead and do one more by adding our video camera feeds so the security camera. So what we'll do is click add card scroll down again and select picture glance then for the title we'll call this front porch security camera then for the camera entity select this box and select your security camera so in this case it's cam01 and as you can see we've now got a picture of the security camera so what we'll do is for the entities we'll select cam01 animal so what it will do if we scroll up you'll see we've got an icon there and this will light up whenever there's an animal detection. So for the next entity we can change this from sun next dark to for example cam1 motion. So then what that will do is highlight when there's any motion here as you'll see it's clear at the moment you'll see the icon is probably just about visible and that will actually detect and light up when there's actually motion. So once you've done those entities 
you can click save and as you can see we've now got both the video camera feed and also the doorbell camera so once you've done that you can click done so from the dashboard now that we've done that you can actually select these icons so for example the clear motion icon and it will bring up a graph of when it last detected the motion sensors so you can see the history there which is quite useful so to close that box click X and that completes adding our video doorbell and security camera feed to home assistant of course these video feeds are not permanently live but they do update themselves every few seconds it's to save resources on your system so the GMK tech PC of course is just a dedicated box so it shouldn't use too many resources on there at the moment but should you of course add a lot more camera feeds then it could bog down your system too much so just be aware of that that it only updates every few seconds just to help the system resources of where home assistant is running on but if you want to click and select a live feed which is updated live you can actually click on the video feed then if you select the play button at the bottom left corner of that pop out window like so so click on it and it will then provide you with a live video feed pop out window and as you can see it's being updated every second with the live video feed of course just be aware again that it uses more system resources doing this but it's definitely useful to have it on your dashboard so that you can just keep an eye on your video camera feeds and overview of your security system so to close this pop out window just click X and it will take you back to the dashboard so that's how you add Rio link video camera feeds to your home assistant dashboard now you can of course add more buttons if you wish at the bottom of each video feed so if you want to for example take a snapshot you can add the snapshot button in there and so on so just go in and edit the camera feed so click on the pen which will take you into the edit mode for your dashboard then for the video feed select edit and then all you do is add another entity so for example we can scroll down to doorbell and we can for example select the doorbell siren and then click save and then click done in the top right corner now you'll see we've got a siren icon there so if we click this it will activate the siren on the doorbell and clicking it again will turn the siren off so you can do a lot of these things and add buttons with these video cards as you'll see for the real link integration so there are a lot of real link integrations options you can do so that's it for this video hope you found it useful hope you liked it and keep a lookout as more home assistant videos in this series are coming up again soon so thanks for watching take care bye for now